Hello friends. Welcome to my new Spring Framework tutorial series video. Today, we will discuss, how to configure beans in Spring configuration file. In our previous tutorial we learned how to set up Spring Framework environment. In this tutorial, let's continue from there and see how we can configure beans in Spring configuration file. Let's start NetBeans IDE. We have already created a Hello Spring, Maven application in previous tutorial. Let's open it. Let's move ahead and create a simple Java bean by name message. Go to package, com.hoverspot.spring. Right click new and click on Java class. New Java class dialog box gets open. Provide a class name as, message. Click finish. It creates a Java class by name message in com.hoverspot.spring package. Let's create a private string instance variable by name message. Let's generate getters and setters for message property. Right click and select insert code. Go to getter and setter. Select message property checkbox and click on generate. Thus, it creates getters and setters for message property in message bean. In order to configure message bean as a spring bean, let's go to beans.xml file which we created in previous tutorial. In order to define a bean in spring configuration file, there is a bean tag in the root beans tag. Let's apply bean tag and configure message bean as a spring bean. In bean tag there is a attribute by name id. It gives a logical name to bean and helps identify uniquely individual bean definition. For message bean, let's provide a name as message id it also has a class attribute this attribute defines type of the bean and uses fully qualified class name for our message bean it is com.hoverspot.spring.message this defines message bean as a spring bean it has a property by name message Let's assign a value to message property, so that when Spring creates message instance, it should populate it with a message value. Bean tag has an element by name property. It takes two attributes name and value. The name attribute is actually name of the property to be initialized. For message bean it is message. Let's provide it a value as, hello world. Thus, we have configured message bean as a spring bean. Let's move ahead and create a Java class by name spring test. Provided a package name as, com.hoverspot.test. Click finish. Let's create a main method, for this demonstration. In main method, let's create an application context instance.
Here, application context is a spring interface which provides us with the configuration for an application. It provides us with the bean requested, as it reads the spring configuration file and provides us with the necessary bean. Application context equals new class path XML application context. Here, class path XML application context is the concrete implementation of application context. As the name suggests, it reads the spring XML file placed in the class path of our application. In our case, we provide it as class path colon slash beans dot XML. As SRC main resources folder are in the class path. Moving ahead. In order to get instance of message bean through Spring container, use application context get bean method. This method takes in a string, which is the ID of the bean defined in Spring configuration file. In our case, ID would be message ID. Based on this message ID Spring container initializes message bean and provides it to us. It provides loose coupling. As, based on ID Spring instantiates a particular object. If in future class type changes to some different type, it will be still referenced by message ID in our code. Only change would be in Spring configuration file. Here, getBean method returns back instance of message, through message ID. It returns an object, we need to type cast it to message. And store it in message variable of type message. Let's move ahead and print out value of message property on Java console. Run spring test. As you can see on console that it prints, the message is, hello world. Thus, application context loads configuration file at the class path. Spring container reads spring configuration file, initialize bean requested by get bean method and provides it to us. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to configure beans in spring configuration file concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.